It is a pleasure that you are with me again. I hope you and your pet are well. Today we will talk about the following. Can dogs get head lice from humans? Let's start. If you are someone else in your household currently has head lice, you may be wondering who it could spread to. We know that head lice can be spread from person to person, but can we also spread it to our dogs or other pets? Let's break down the details below. 1. Lice, what are they? Lice are tiny parasites that attach to the skin surface of their host and feed on their blood. Lice can not only cause severe itching with their bite, but even their presence moving on the skin can cause severe irritation. Most forms of lice can lay up to 8 eggs per day and will continue this cycle for just over 2 weeks. A head lice infestation can quickly get out of control, so no one wants to fall victim to head lice. 2. Can dogs get head lice? Like many other types of mammals, dogs can get head lice. Lice on dogs are very similar in appearance to the lice we see on humans in that they are also wingless, have six legs, and do not grow larger than a grain of rice. Lice on dogs also burrow into their fur and latch onto feet on blood. Some forms of lice in dogs also feed on the dead skin and oils on your skin, but this form of lice is much less common. Lice on mammals are species-specific, which means that dog lice can only survive on dogs. Your dog's lice cannot be spread to humans, so no one else in the household needs to worry about getting it. This means that your dog got lice from another infested dog or from any bedding or grooming tools that the lice-infected dog came into contact with. 3. What are the signs of lice in your dog? Detecting lice in dogs can be tricky, as there are many conditions in dogs that cause them to itch. The best thing you can do is simply notice your dog's skin irritation and know it's time to take him to the vet to further explore his symptoms. Next, I will tell you the most common signs of lice in dogs. Constantly scratching or chewing on the skin. Dry skin and dull coat. Seems restless or agitated. Small wounds on the skin. Bacterial skin infections. Excessive hair loss, especially around the ears, shoulders, neck, and rear. Evidence of tapeworms in your stool, worms that look like grains of rice. If you notice any of these symptoms in your dog, I suggest you see your vet. These symptoms can also be seen in dogs with fleas or skin mites, but these ectoparasites also require veterinary treatment. 4. How are head lice treated in dogs? It is usually very easy to treat lice in dogs. Most of the flea and tick prevention products you buy will kill the fleas on your dog's body, as well as protect him from other irritating critters that feed on his skin. This is also why most dogs who receive monthly flea and tick prevention will not develop a case of lice, as their prescribed prevention keeps these biting creatures at bat. One thing to keep in mind is that not only do you need to treat your dog, but you also need to treat your home for dog lice. Your dog might be protected from lice if you stay on top of lice prevention, but you don't want a flea infestation in your home. I suggest throwing out any infested bedding or washing it frequently in hot water. Fumigation for head lice is generally not recommended. So it's best to be careful about washing household fabrics and bedding, as well as cleaning all surfaces with diluted bleach. 5. Can dogs get head lice from humans? As I told you, each mammal will have a form of lice that is specific to its species. This means that dog lice can only be spread to dogs, human lice can only be spread to humans, and the same rule continues. Each type of lice can only survive on its species of interest, so you don't have to worry about giving your dog lice, or vice versa. This also means that you can rest assured when your dog is diagnosed with head lice, as these little critters are not interested in humans within your home. I suggest reviewing the head lice symptoms we discussed above and simply paying attention to these symptoms in the future. By taking your pet to the vet from the moment you notice skin irritation, you can get rid of itchy lice once and for all. Develop your dog's hidden intelligence to eliminate misbehavior and create the well-behaved, obedient pet of your dreams. Hit the instant access button below now. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment, and share the video. Thanks.